What's going on, Chaos Nation? Your boy Kendrick here, back with another Spring Break Slate video. This one is one of my top fives. I got a couple of top fives coming out. So this is one I've been meaning to get to for a while now. Um, I'm a big fan of movies. I am a, a huge fan of movies, especially action movies. And now that I'm getting into the filming game myself, there's a couple of movies that I just hold in high regard. There's a lot of things that I usually tend to study when I watch movies, especially action movies. And one of the things that I definitely study a great deal of in action movies is, is the fight choreography. I've learned such a great deal in the things I've been working on with Equilibrium Balance and working on fight choreography and, I'm, and the importance of making sure a sequence just fits so well is just stands out to me. So there's been a great deal of um, action movies and martial arts movies that I've seen over the years where the fight choreography was just superb. It was just superb. So here... As the video suggests, these are my top five favorite choreographed fight scenes in movies. So, some whatever you guys have as um, your favorite, let me know in the comment section below. And we can discuss it, because if I haven't seen it, I watch it. And I have seen it, I'll discuss it with you. <laughs> Number five. The first fight in Undisputed 2, Last Man Standing. The first fight pits Scott Atkins' Yuri Boyka against, I forgot the character's name, but when I watched this first fight scene, because before then I had never really seen Scott Atkins before, and if I have, I didn't realize it was him. So really, Undisputed 2 was like the first Scott Atkins movie I'd ever seen. His fight with that guy was just insanity. It, 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 was, it was one of the best, you know, martial arts fights I had seen in a good while. That was just you know, balls to the walls. And considering the fact that Michael Jai White was in the movie, I was highly excited for what the rest of the movie was going to be about. But this fight right here just set the tone for me for the rest of the Undisputed series. So between Undisputed 3 and 4, Scott Atkins, this, this, this really put me on a Scott Atkins. It really did. And from then on, I became a huge Scott Atkins fan just by this fight alone. Number 4. Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul in Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Now, everyone has their reservations about episode one. Everyone has their reservations about the prequels in general. But everyone can pretty much agree that the best thing that Star Wars episode one ever did was give us Darth Maul. A Sith Lord with a double-edged lightsaber was the craziest thing I had ever seen in my life. It's the craziest thing anyone had ever seen in their life. And Ewan McGregor's Obi-Wan Kenobi was... As young and as spry as you would imagine a young Obi-Wan to be. You know, jumping up all over the place, hitting up with series of kicks and everything. The duel of the fates, the duel between Qui-Gon Jinn, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Darth Maul was, I think, today still one of the best lightsaber duels we've seen, at least in my opinion. And when Qui-Gon Jinn fell to Darth Maul and it was up to Obi-Wan to finish him off, it was interesting to see where it would go. And when those two just started going at it, and I, just in that little sequence alone, I was like, good God, this is why Obi-Wan is the man. This is exactly why Obi-Wan is the man. So that fight right there, it kind of really made me fall in love with Star Wars again. Again, everyone has a reservation about the Phantom Menace. I didn't mind it too much, but I was only really concerned with Darth Maul. So take that from it what you will. Number three. The gun kata duel in Equilibrium. You all know that I'm working on a short film, Equilibrium Balance. Equilibrium changed a lot of the way I see things as far as film. And just the way you use a gun. You know, we had gun food before we had the gun katas. You know, chow yun fat, you know, the two guns and all that stuff. And it was all cool. But when we saw the gun, but when I saw the gun katas, I was like, they, these people are touching on something that is extremely unique. And the last fight between Cleric Preston and Vice Counsel DuPont, where they were really trying to get shots off each other in that room, just blew, it blew my mind. It really blew my mind to see people use guns like that. You know, to, to use guns to the point where it's like, no shot is wasted unless it's by accident. They don't waste guns. They try to find an opening and they're trying to one-up each other. 
what more do you want? You know, I believe, <laughs> I honestly, everyone's talking about gun control right now. I know it's a really big issue. <laughs> but if I think if they had this kind of training, I really think if they had this kind of training, if this training were real, it'd be a wrap. It would be a wrap. It would highly be a wrap. This is an, un, this is one of the reasons why Big Goodman is still an underrated movie. The gun copies themselves are just fantastic to watch. Number two, the kitchen fight in the Raid 2 burned all. The Raid 1 set a bar that I had never seen set before. Not since Unbok 1 with Tony Ja. The Raid 2, I thought was a great movie up until that kitchen fight. And then when I saw that kitchen fight, I was done. That kitchen fight with Rama and the other other dude, when they were when they got down in stance and got close to each other, I just knew they was about to get it in. I know they were they were about to get down. Like even from the trailer, and they just got and they got it. I'm like, yo, I gotta see this. So when I finally saw this fight, I was on the edge of my seat. And that fight was like 15 minutes long. It was a long freaking fight. It was a long fight in that kitchen. And I'm just like, oh my God, just a nonstop action in it. It, it, it makes you want to get up and train. It literally makes you want to get up and train. Like, okay, I need to sharpen my shit up because these two out here are just getting down. So I think that is a, that kitchen fight, man, is, is amazing. There's nothing ever, there's been nothing like it before. I don't think, that, I think there'll be anything ever like it since. I don't even know if they're working on a Ray 3. I wouldn't be surprised if they are. But if they do, I'm interested to see how they're going to top the kitchen fight in the Ray 2. Number one. The rooftop fight in Jackie Chan's Who Am I? The first time I seen Jackie Chan Who Am I was on HBO. And that was back then when they used to show like martial arts movies like left and right. I used to see, I, 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 if it wasn't for HBO, I would have never, never seen Who Am I? I would have never seen Blood Moon. I would have never seen Super Fights. I would have never seen American Shaolin. I used to watch a buttload of martial arts movies. And right before I had to come to karate school. Jackie Chan Who Am I? I think is a movie that really doesn't, it, I think it's an, another underrated movie also. He's not a cop. I mean, he was a former soldier, but he's not a cop. He's a guy that loses his memory and he's trying to just figure out who he is. Excuse me. That rooftop fight is just the best I've seen Jackie Chan in a long time. And his fight with Benny the Jet Oriquides, which is an honorable mention, by the way. I should have mentioned that. The fight with Jackie Chan and Benny the Jet Oriquides in Wheels on Meals is an awesome fight. It is an awesome fight. But the rooftop fight between, and I call the two guys punch and kick. Because one uses his hands and the other one uses their feet. This, just that fight alone with a two-on-one on a rooftop, fighting one guy who's using his hands, getting the best, and then finding a guy whose Taekwondo skill is insane. And then having to fight the two at the same time and beating them. Jackie Chan was in rare form in that movie. He was in rare form. And to this day, it is still one of my favorite fight scenes from Jackie Chan. It's, still, it's just one of my favorites. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are my top five favorite choreographed fight scenes in movies. If you have a favorite choreographed fight scene in the movie, let me know in the comment section below and we can discuss it. If you enjoyed this top five video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down. Share this video with all your friends. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed what you see. Be sure to hit that bell right next to the subscribe button so you know when a new video of mine gets released onto YouTube. I'm out. Peace.